All right, Schlagmeister fans. Sherman Hamsley, Ghost Fever. Let's watch. This is a ghost. That's Buford. Andy. Sherman Hemsley. Dual roles in this Come movie. Up now, Andy. Come on, Andy, baby. You can do it. Who, who are you? Name's Jethro. I'm district supervisor. My job is to make sure you spooks don't get too far out of line. The day after he dropped dead, you set me free. So now, I'm doing the same for you. Free? Now, do, does that mean that I don't have to go back in there? Not if you don't want to. You're free to spook anywhere in the whole wide world. You know the old E-plan? Modern times, Sherman Hemsley's a cop with Louis Avalos. Oh, Magnolia House. And I was a kid who used to call it spooks, so that place is haunted. Haunted? You really don't believe that, Buford. Don't knock it, Chief. When I was a kid... So they have to serve an eviction notice on this alleged haunted mansion. Dangers of business. We capture crooks. We shoot bullets. We're tough. Bullets I can handle. But running into a vampire trying to bite my neck and suck all the blood out. <laughs> That's strictly a no-no. Sherman Hemsley tells a story about when he was a kid trick-or-treating at this house. I mean it. You give us treats. Or there'll be tricks. I'll show you the prick. <laughs> The ghosts of Buford and Andy are watching them. I sure ain't looking forward to this job. Bill, yeah, what's the big idea? I thought I saw somebody back there. You've been talking so much about ghosts, you're beginning to see things. I know one of those two men. That's my big, big grandson, Buford. Oh, whoa, whoa. Which one? Which one, he says. <laughs> one of those. Yeah, me too, The man. house is definitely a spooky place. Oh, it fell over. It could hurt somebody. Well, you just have to know how to handle it, that's all. Which owner used to do experiments on slaves? Huge arm like grips around the torso and mouth, and then at this point, the most insidious slang and sledgehammer type action comes in, whipping from the side, past the abdomen, and you want to get out of here. They can't leave. Why did you do that, Jethro? I thought we wanted him to leave. I didn't do that, Andy. I thought you did. They find Lisa and Linda there. Puerto Rican. I'm Benny Alvarez. I'm Buford Washington. By the way, uh, do you dress like that around the house all the time? We do it for granddad. What we're trying to say, gentlemen, is that our great-great-granddaddy is a ghost. Uh, I'm sorry to say he's a ghost who doesn't particularly like people of the color persuasion. <coughs> This house comes with a medium also. Pappy's mistress. She apparently raised I, uh, Pappy. The, famous medium. I have been the ghost's father, who was not a very nice man, and he's now spooking the place and won't let them leave. They are stuck. Tried to shimmy down on a bed sheet. <laughs> what are you doing back here? Uh, uh, he was tickling me. I'm telling you, that ghost is down there. Happy is there. That's a piece of chicken being eaten. I told you it was a ghost. The old man eats like a pig. So this is what heaven is like. I well, the two of them are taking a fancy to the ladies. 
And I still can't leave, though. Playing pool with a ghost. <laughs> and a sword fight with Pappy. That's right. Pappy decides to kind of show himself for a dance contest they're going to have. You heard that right. So they have a seance and they bring Pappy back. You're damn right I'm here. I'm in the next room. I don't like the company in there. Are you positive it's my Pappy? It does not look like him at all. That's him all right. You see Andy? Now we really got a problem. That voodoo cursed by his slaves has turned him into a vampire. <laughs> vampire? The ladies are dead Once too. We go outside, we grow old like anyone else. Don't be frightened, but we knew you wouldn't believe us unless you saw it for yourselves. If we ever lost Magnolia House, it'd be the end of us. The ladies need money to keep the house. The ghosts have a plan. Now this is Smoking Joe Frazier. He plays Terrible Tucker. There's a contest. If you can last three rounds with him, you win $60,000. He's going to try to win the money for the girls. Benny's gonna get a little help. Folks, I really can't explain what's happening. Oh, and he's out. But with a little help, he gets up. Looks like he's up again. He's gonna knock out the champ. Benny won. They're down Magnolia House after all. You mean the county's not gonna take it over? Hell no. Day after tomorrow, it goes up for grabs. <laughs> I already put a bid in to buy it. And when I get my hands on it and resell it, I'm gonna make a bug move. So anyway, they can't stay with the girls because they're not dead. But our ghost friends get an idea. Kill them! And that's how our movie ends. They all live happily ever after as ghosts.
All right, let's talk about Ghost Fever. Um, it's a movie I had taped on a VHS tape, taped it off a cable or something back around 1988, 89, I don't know. Um, never watched it then. I watched it, I think, in the early 2000s at some point when I uh, re re was retaping everything back then. And I remember not caring for it too much. I wasn't really looking forward to uh, watching it now. But you know what? Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It wasn't great, but it wasn't so bad. Um, I'm trying to get DVDs of everything I had back on tape. So this pal DVD showed up and um, had to watch it. So anyway, it uh, stars Sherman Hemsley. This, this was shot shortly after uh, the Jeffersons finished. And uh, Louis Havelos, I think is his name. You may remember him from the Electric Company. He also did an episode of uh, uh, Jeffersons with uh, Sherman Hemsley. But anyway, uh, they're cops and they're sent to uh, go to this mansion and, and serve an eviction notice on some old alleged haunted mansion so they go there and they um you know Sherman Hemsley is afraid of this place because when he was a kid he got scared by a vampire at least what he thought was a vampire when he was trick-or-treating one night and uh anyway they go inside and they find these two uh lovely ladies um um ultimately it turns out here there's two ghosts watching them the whole time uh, it's like the great great grandfather or the great grandfather of the person who used to own the mansion um, and uh, a former slave, who also played by Sherman Hemsley, a slave that uh, was released after the great-grandfather's father passed away. Apparently that father was a jerk. So anyway, they go inside, and all kinds of ghostly things start happening. There's a lot of slapstick going on. Uh, the ghost of the father, the, the bad guy, the, the jerk, um, is uh, running around in the mansion, Ultimately, they don't want the mansion to be sold or anything because there's some people haunting it, and uh, they it's got to stay within the family. So, but they owe a ton of money, so uh, and nobody's paying it, obviously. So, um, along the way, the two guys fall in love with these two girls who are inside, and um, we find out that they're dead too. I guess they're ghosts. And uh, they can't leave the mansion. If they leave the mansion, they instantly age to their true age, and then they would die within a couple hours. But they don't want to leave either because um, it's their place. It's their home. So it uh, turns out Joe Frazier, they call him like Mr. Tucker or Thomas Tucker, I don't know. But he's the champion boxer, and uh, there's some sort of contest. If you go three rounds with him, you are going to get $60,000. So Louis Avalos decides he's going to go in the ring, try to win that money. And with the help of the friendly ghosts, um, He's able to knock out uh, Joe Frazier. He wins the sixty grand, and uh, they give it to the ladies, and they keep their mansion. Now, they can't stay, though, because uh, it just wouldn't work out. Two live people with two uh, dead people. So the two friendly ghosts decide to run their car off the road and kill them in an explosion. So in the last scene of the movie, both uh, Sherman Hemsley and Louis Avalos are also dead, and they're having the time of their lives hanging out with their new uh, ghosts, and that's how the movie ends. So anyway, that's the movie. You know, interesting... This box art here uh, is not like the VHS box art, which I actually do own. Um, instead, they show this buxom lady, uh, which has nothing to do with the movie. Um, it's not even in the scene, whatever. But um, uh, this movie, uh, this DVD is actually pretty rare. It is a PAL DVD. It hasn't been released in this country as of yet. Um, it's very, very rare, though. Uh, so if you want it, track it down, snatch it up. Um, I was able to get it pretty cheap, but um, it's the only one I found for months, so I'm glad I got it. So, anyway, it's called Ghost Fever. I, from what I understand, though, there's kind of a cult following to this movie. I don't exactly know why, but again, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Apparently, Sherman Hemsley um, spent most of his own money financing this film, and it was a big flop, and he, according to IMDb, he almost went bankrupt from it. So, yikes. So, anyway, Ghost Fever, let me know what you think about it. This is a German PAL DVD with an English soundtrack, thankfully. So, Check it out. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. Go see for Watch it. Bye.